Hello, 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 Salah family. Oof, my head is doing whatever, whatever. I'm just recording a quick video because I don't know if it's that time of the month or whatever, but this customer. All right, I have this customer placed a order on August 31st, 2021, which is a Tuesday. They placed an order for a Blockbuster. I don't know if this customer knows or not, but we can see not only the date, but the time that they placed the order. I'm going to cover up the personal information so you can see. Okay. Did you see it? Placed the order August 31st, 2021. Now, if you know me, you know that I don't do any same day. So, even on my ad, it says that if you place the order after 11.59 on Monday, what happens is that it rolls over and is completed the next following Tuesday. Cool. Okay, most people get that. Even some people miss it. They're very polite about it. But this person, this person on Tuesday, before I even, even Tuesday was even complete, like they completed this order at 325. I believe it was like 352. They were sending me messages. Has this message been, this order been complete? It ain't even been a whole entire hour according to Etsy. I don't know what time they actually typed it, but according to Etsy, it hadn't even been a whole hour since they placed the order. And, okay, so... So 325, you place the order by before even four o'clock hits. You are asking me if the order has been completed. That isn't even, even logical sense. I mean, at least give that ain't even 24 hours to complete the order. Even if I did same day work, that's not even 24 hours. It's not even Wednesday yet. Can you let it be Wednesday before you complain that I have not completed the order? Okay. And then let's see. They um, also ordered a road opener. And they selected Thursday. Well, today is Thursday. So if they ordered it on Tuesday and they put it for Thursday, then I would be completing the work today, correct? If they had read the ad and knew what they ordered. Uh, yeah, it was. I don't know if I'm just like a little frustrated with this customer. But the thing is, what got me upset was the fact that she, no, she, sent, she sent like three or four messages before requesting. Called me unprofessional you have not even let 24 hours pass from the time you placed the order not even one hour not even one not less 24 hours not even one hour pass from the time you placed the order from the time you start demanding that the order should be completed not even one hour and i'm not even late because per the ad if you place it after 11.59 on Monday, then it's done the following Tuesday. And if you placed an order for a road opener to be done on Thursday, then I'm going to do it on Thursday. So it was scheduled to be done today. So that's what I was doing today was doing, you know, going through the messages, all that other stuff, making sure I didn't miss anybody's this, that, and the other. You know, some people like to make changes or whatever. You know, I try to scan my messages and see if they made changes. Look at my daughter. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I'm a little frustrated. And then she was like, I want my money back now. So I, of course, I refunded it. No problem. No, Please go away. <laughs> Just go away. I don't want your money. Take your money. Go ahead on about your business. Because you're not going to call me out my name yelling at me. Because typing in all caps is yelling. You're not going to call me out my name. Type all caps. Say, and I'm unprofessional. And I, okay, didn't communicate. Okay, you didn't even give me one hour before you said I didn't communicate well. And then I answer my messages in the order that they received. I don't stop and drop what I'm doing and, and answer messages right away. The only messages that I look at right away are the ones that I need to make changes to the order. I try to catch those. Like I said, I try to catch the changes to the order. If I don't catch the changes to the order, people know people have ordered from me where I didn't catch the change to the order. And I ask them, do you want me to do it again? Because I didn't catch the change to your order that you made. I do them a whole new one, even though they should have put the, you know, it, that's not even my fault. If you didn't put the correct information on the actual order when I print it out, it's not there for me to do it. So it's not even my fault. I have to catch it in the messages in order to make those changes. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay, so, but I still do them a, a free one. Okay, oh, I didn't see that you wanted me to do this, that, and the other. Would you like me to burn it again? Some people say yes. Some people say no, that was my fault. You know, whatever, whatever. We get it done. You know, if it's my fault, I take care of it. I handle it. 
I take that hit. That irritated me just, I don't know, it's, you know, ooh. just don't call me out my name unprofessional. Call me out my name unprofessional. I'm very professional. I get your work done. I get your work done on time. If I mess up, ask anybody that I messed up on their orders on. And there's been more than that like. But ask anybody I've messed up on their orders on. I've upgraded their orders and I've done freebies for them. Like if they ordered a basic, they got a all uh, all of the above and like two or three of them. Because if I mess up on your order, that's on me. That's on me. So I, I feel like I should fix it. And I should take that hit. I should take that hit. You know, use my products and my time and my energy to make it right. Even if you want your money back, I'll give you your money back if that's what you prefer. I take that hit. Even if I've already done the work, I take that hit. So anyway, that just irritated me. I thought I'd hop on here and be like, don't do that to your to spiritual workers. Don't do that to any small business ever. Like at least... Common, I don't know if it's a common thing, but we give people at least 48 hours to respond, especially a small business. Now, Walmart or Amazon or something that's got like thousands and thousands of employees, you might respect, expect from a big mid-sized to gigantic corporation, you might can expect 24 hour response or less. For a company that can hire 24 hour uh, one person, that's all they do is answer messages. That's not all I do. This is a one person operation. Please don't stress out people who are doing little teeny tiny businesses. Don't have a specific, specific person that does customer service. It's just little old me. It's just little old me. And you don't know what somebody else got other besides just doing this. You don't know what else people do during that day. You think, are you under the impression that spiritualists just sit around waiting for your orders? Like, you know how students used to think teachers sit around and wait for the students to come back to school. You remember that? You remember that? How you used to think when you, if you saw your teacher outside of school, you'd be like, you go to the grocery store, you go swimming, you go to the beach. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's how y'all treat the spiritual workers and small businesses. Like, Oh, y'all do stuff besides handle our business. Yes, we do stuff besides handle your business. Okay. 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 For one thing, you would want your spiritual worker studying their craft, perfecting their craft. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So don't, don't do that. Okay. That just, it was just bothering me. I thought I'd get it off my chest. I guess it must not have been bothering me because I wasn't, I'm not foamy, but it was bothering me enough that I made a quick, quick video. Um, even though my hair is looking all kinds of crazy. <laughs> my daughter's talking about my third chin. <laughs> It's down to two. I'm, I'm down to two. Look, it's not three anymore. It's down to two. I've been getting my steps in. I've been getting my steps in. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I will talk to you guys um, later. And I thought it would be a good to have this video because case this person is the kind of person to be trying to bad mouth you and your business. You know, you got the receipt. I got the receipts right here that this person was not the one. She was not in the right. She didn't read the ad. The ad says cut off times the ad says you ordered it on a for it to be done on a thursday shouldn't you know that then therefore the work will be done on a thursday the cutoff time for blockbuster was tuesday i mean was monday at 11 59 p.m therefore but that ain't what bothered me because there's other people that have made that mistake and they just go oh my goodness oh oh okay okay and they move on with their life but to call me out my name that's where i draw the line don't call me out my name don't call me out my name and, and yell at me because typing in all caps is yelling. I ain't like that. I ain't care for that. Mm. And be careful. Be careful who you do that to. <laughs> because you don't know who has what kind of protection set up that you do things for to them in words, thoughts, or deep thoughts, words, or deeds. What kind of response is automatic? I'm just saying that. That's a quite a bit of a little warning there. And I ain't got to do actually nothing for, you know, that to kick in. So be careful when you do that. You don't know what kind of reflection of your energy is going to bounce back to you. You never know. So don't do that. Be professional even if you're not the professional. Even if you're just the client, if you are the client, still maintain a professional when you contact people. Okay? Just a little word of advice. Even when you're the client, remain your decorum. Don't be calling people out their names. And 
like I said, 48 hours is not even a lot of time. She responded, it was Tuesday, okay? 48 hours is today. If she had wrote me a message on Tuesday, I say she wrote the message on Tuesday and I hadn't responded by the day and then she wrote me a message on Friday, I might have been like, okay, it's been like 48 hours. You know, it's not the greatest response. I don't have the greatest response time. I try to keep it with under a week. But, you know, it's not the greatest response time, but it's, it's to call somebody out is under a week is too long for some people. And I get that. You might and all I say is go on to the next spiritual person who has the time to answer you um, in a timely manner within an hour or two. Go to that person because they probably have other people working for them or know how to time travel or something like that. <laughs> I don't know how to time travel. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, be careful what you're doing out here on these streets, talking to people all while in caps calling them out their name do not go out on the streets trying to Ooh, that's a big one messing with somebody reputation because that one no okay but i did refund the money it is refunded let me see do i say it up here so they calling out my name mm -mm, see right there I'll try to show you refunded fully refunded Okay, so the person cannot say that they didn't get their money back. They cannot say I did not respond to them at all because I did. I was getting ready to do the work for the uh, road opener today because it was scheduled for the day. Even made the candle and then I was like, oh, wait, no, let me go through. And I uh, guess I won't be wasting my energy. All the thing I'm out is the paper and ink to print out the order, I guess. Because that's refunded. Alright, talk to you guys later when I do this Ancestor Burn. Peace out.